this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm here in... oh, where am I? What's... what's the area called? I'm in this area. <laughs> here, basically. Ha! I don't, didn't mean to do that. I've just marked absolutely nothing. Right, remember this place here. There's absolutely nothing there, but don't forget it. <laughs> and yeah, so the plan for today is, um... We're going to be doing a few things, so I'm going to start off by trying to, to complete some shrines, because I haven't done any uh, any shrines in a while, and I just want to do them, just because they're good fun and all. Hello, little sneaky hidey chest down here. Uh, so yeah, I want to do some some shrines anyway. And oh, this is <laughs> this is much deeper than I than I first thought it was when I flew down. And then I then I really think I do need to to start heading to Hatino Village because they they told me to go there ages ago. And when I played the game, like I knew from the beginning I wouldn't just do what the game tells me to do. Like I knew I was going to do a lot of exploring and kind of you know making my own story rather than kind of doing what the the game tells me to to do. But I feel like I really should think about heading there at. Some some point soon seen as a <laughs> it has been like my main objective for forever and it's just something that I haven't bothered doing so there's a shrine that I saw from the the top of the the tower so that's kind of where I'm gradually making my way to now while I'm gathering chests and hunting and things uh, as well I did a bunch of cooking as well because uh, you may remember recently I went up to a big snowy mountain which was I don't know, over that way somewhere. I lose track, but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, basically it was too cold for me. I got I got too chilly uh, over there, so I had to to basically um, uh, leave there. Uh, but I have cooked a bunch of the the, the spicy, fiery pepper things, uh, so that means that uh, I should now uh, be able to to make my way back there because. All it's really said to me about Hatino Village is that it's east, and I know I could probably look up exactly where it is and stuff, or maybe speak to people and find out that way. But um, yeah, I kind of like oh. Oh, okay. I thought there was a. Uh, <laughs> I thought there was just a goat there. It looks like there's a there's a vocabulary on a on a uh, a horse. I thought he was going to go and tell everyone else. Then that I'm over here, but it looks like he's backed off. Uh, right. Let's go and see if we can hit him off the the horse. And there we go. I knocked him off the horse. And now let, let's try and do something cool. Let's. How do I do the the shield thing again? I need to like. Oh, I wanted to surf down with the the shield and take him up that way because I thought it would be cool. How do I do the the shield surfing again? So I like jump and then so I get the shield out and then I like jump and press. B? There we go. That's how I surf. So <laughs> I need to remember that because I want to be able to do it in like cool situations where it just comes up, but I forgot to do it. No, I might be able to get this horse. I do have a horse already. Apparently, the horses that are a single color are better. Just in most ways, they're just better than the, the, the patchy ones, like my horse patch, who I haven't seen in a very long time now. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I probably should uh, I should go for. But oh, this isn't Oh, it looks a lot like Patch, this one, doesn't it? But I know, it looks like I've just tamed a, a random horse. Quite an easy one to, to get. And oh, look, there's loads of there's loads of bokoblins on on horses over here. Well, let's uh, let's just borrow this horse at least for for now as we go and try and make our way to the the shrine. And it looks like we have just about arrived. We are getting very close to the the castle though, which is where Calamity Ganon is. So I don't I don't probably want to to get much further closer in uh, in this direction to to there. Uh, but let's uh, instead just go and dive off the the horse. And let's go and swim over here, and uh, yeah, go and do the the shrine. So it means that we're going to be able to to easily teleport straight back to to here uh, whenever we need to, and uh, also uh, yeah, we'll get whatever goodies we get from uh, completing the the shrine as well, uh, which was always a good thing. So we're going to at least get ourselves a spirit orb, assuming I can complete it. And so far, I've had a pretty good success rate with uh, completing these uh, these shrines. And uh, yeah, there's normally some sort of uh, loot uh, or treasure chests uh, inside of these shrines as well. And please let me get there. There we go. That would have been really annoying if I ran out of stamina at the end. And this is a pretty Pretty shrine. Huh? Oh, and who's this? Magda. Hey, what do you think you are doing? You must not harm the flowers. Hello? <laughs> Where did this lady come from? To be fair, I was about to just go and pick up all of the, the flowers I could see. I planted flowers around the shrine. Please be careful where you step. You do not want to hurt them, do you? Um, no, I don't. Watch out for the, the flowers. So do I need to, like... I guess I need to, to walk this path around. Well, tell you what, if I just climb this tree, then I could just paraglide over all of the, the flowers and avoid them that way. And then that way I don't need to, to zigzag my, my way through all them. So let's see if I can get to a, a good branch here. I'm really scared I'm just going to fall and land on top of these flowers. Right, can I make my way to the... Oh, no! I fell through it! No, you must not hurt the flowers. They're screaming in pain. <laughs> I fell through the branch. The branch. Okay, let's let's just try and walk around carefully then. So go this way, 
and then this way, and then we need to get to the, the front of the shrine, so I can't go that way. I think I need to, to go, like, the entire way around the outside. Luckily, she she planted these flowers in a, a convenient path for, for me to be able to, to walk around. And then what if one of them, what if one of the, the choo-choos goes on the flowers? Does that count? Oh, no. There's a thing there in the shower. Oh, I think that's what she used to, to plant them. Okay, it's nothing It's nothing too good. That would have been annoying if there was something amazing there. But I just about wouldn't be able to, to reach it because I couldn't get to the, the flowers. All right then. It looks like we've arrived at the, the shrine and uh, all of the, the flowers are unharmed. And all. It was a bit of a, a thin bit here. Let's just kind of go. Boop. There we go. I've arrived at the, the shrine, the Hila Rao Shrine. So let's go and make our way inside of here. Uh, let's go and solve all of the, the puzzles. And look, it looks like I should have another rune. Look, if you go here... Oh, no, maybe I don't. Maybe I do have all of the, the runes. Okay, no worries. <laughs> I kept thinking that there was a uh, another one. Oh, no, I don't need this. Oh, no, not on the flowers. Not on the flowers. After her telling me not to, to hurt the flowers, me throwing a bomb into the middle of the flower bed might not be exactly the uh, the, the thing she was, <laughs> she was hoping for. But here we go. We've been able to discover uh, our next fro uh, our next uh, shrine. Uh, so yeah, let's see what the the challenge is going to, to be. They're generally pretty quick, aren't they? They're generally pretty speedy, just so long as I don't get stuck at all. Drifting. Okay, it's cool drifting. Let's have a little sneaky look around here, just to see if we can find the, the, the hidden chest anywhere. And what's this? Is this just water? Okay, so this is just water here. And then there's a place we could jump up to there. There's another bit of water down here. Let's just go and check back here. Nothing seeming hiding around there. So why is it called drifting? Ah! This is drifting in the... Look, the, the water. This is making this kind of drift back and forth in the, the streams. Oh, is there going to be another one coming out on uh, on this side? Or is this going to be drifting back and forth? Okay, looks like that one's, that one's gone. So I guess this is kind of like Frogger. I think would have been a good name for for this one. I think I need to jump on it as it goes past. But what I could do, if I was super duper duper clever, and I am super duper duper clever, is I could put some, uh, some ice here, and then that would basically block it from being able to get past. To be fair, I could just jump on the ice and then do it this way, which might be another easier way of doing it. I, I get the idea, though. I think that was just to, to teach me the, the concept, and yeah. Looks like things are getting a bit more difficult. Oh, no, no, I fell, I fell in the water. I fell in the water. Well, that was a, a bad start to that one there. So, all right, let's try and do this one properly, then. Let's just try and jump along them, uh, as I need to do. I mean, then again, I, I think I could just do... Can I just not just do this? I mean... I don't see why I couldn't just do this to, to get across to the, the other side. Like, I don't know why why I'll need to, to use them. Like, I guess it might be more fun to do it that way. And I think there's a little hidden chest down there as well. Well, let's let's make my way to the, the other side. And then let's go and uh, see if I can use my magnet power uh, to go and grab that chest. So there we go. That seems to be a much easier way to, to do the puzzle. Unless I'm missing something. That <laughs> that way seems to, to work just fine. But anyway, we have found ourselves the, uh, the, the hidden chest. And inside we have have an opal not bad not too bad whatsoever i did sell a bunch of the 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 things that i, I didn't need by the way well like things like sapphires and that i did go and sell a bunch of them um already uh, so i have built up a, a nicer amount of money and it's not it's not letting me grab this chest for some reason maybe if i use this i can put the the chest on the ice and then I can jump across and grab it. See, I told you I'm super duper clever, clever. You didn't believe me, but I told you I am super duper clever. Okay, I did just fall off this by accident, but ignoring that, I am super duper clever. <laughs> and right, what we're going to get inside of this chest, we have ice arrows. Ah, uh, freezing objects in the immediate area, incredibly effective against hot things. So it looks like there's there's a big a big wall that I need to to blow up here. And then there's these little bombs that are kind of going past. So do you think I need to, to lift them out of the, the water and then blow them up? Because I, I don't know if they're going to blow up while they're in the water. So let's see if we can if we can lift one of these up while it's right next to the wall. Let's see if we can do it to both of them. We might need to do more than one. Luckily, they're, they're kind of heading very close to the, the wall, which will make things easier. And then there we go. I was able to, to lift that one up and see if I can lift this one up here as well. It should kind of get stuck against it anyway, so that isn't too difficult. And oh, steady. No, I got the first one off. Well, let's just try and do this one. Well, let's just try. Let's just use a fire arrow, I guess, uh, I guess against, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess against this one. Oh, do I have any fire? Oh, okay, yeah, I do have a fire arrow. I had a bomb arrow as well anyway. So, right, let's just fire this at the, the barrel. And whoa! 
Okay, well, <laughs> I think I did what I needed to do over there, but I also hurt myself a little bit. Maybe I should have stepped a, uh, a little bit further further back. I haven't experimented with the, the, the barrels too much. So I don't know exactly what it is that you need to, to blow them up. Like, I think shooting them with a normal arrow doesn't actually work. So, uh, yeah, I, I bet there probably is another way because someone might have gone to this shrine without a fire arrow. And there's always going to be a way that you would have been able to, to complete the, the shrine. So I'm assuming I didn't do any of that shrine the way the game intended. I did it my own way, but you know what? I was able to make it work. I found the treasure and I found myself a, another spirit orb and I now only need one more spirit orb uh, and then that's going to be enough for me to, to get my upgrade. And as I said, this time I'm upgrading my stamina. I've upgraded my hearts twice, uh, but I haven't upgraded my stamina once yet. So I definitely want to, to do that just to make swimming and climbing and gliding and anything else that might use stamina as well in the, the future, just to make that way easier. Like it's not, I don't think it's as crucial as putting your hearts up. I don't think it matters as much. It's more of just like a nice convenience thing and all. Okay, laid flower lady still watching me. Can I like, can I climb up on the shrine and then like glide away? Like if I get to, even if I get up a little bit and then I can go, whoop, there we go. <laughs> and all of your flowers are perfectly fine. Let's go speak to, to Magda then. Look, do you see? The shrine has changed to a pretty colour. It must be pleased with my gorgeous flowers. Yeah, that that's the reason. It's your flowers that did it. Sure, sure. Nothing nothing to do with me. And it looks like is that is that another shrine? I think there might be another shrine right there. So let's uh Let's keep the, the, the shrine train going then, shall we? And uh, let's go and see uh, if we can head to, to that one. Because I do just, I do just want to do another one straight away. Uh, just so I can get the... Uh, uh, yeah, just so I can get the, 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 the four that I need to get my upgrade. Then I'll be able to do it today. So I need to swim to there. But this is a pretty strong looking current. So I think uh, using ice is going to be the, the safest way to, to get across here. Or possibly the only way to, to get across here. Seeing as uh, I don't think I'd be able to, to do it otherwise. But this is a really easy way. Like You can pretty much cross any water. I don't know if to, I didn't mean to dive in. In. I didn't mean to dive in. See what I mean about the, the currents? It makes it almost impossible to, to swim across. But there we go. I was able to, to grab to the, the ice. Yeah, but sometimes when you're jumping into water, he automatically goes to, like, dive in, which um, looks cool, but it's not great. When you see that, he was going to do it. Until I stopped him, he was going to, to dive in again. You know what? I think I can just kind of glide to the, the land here now anyway. So, yeah, I think there's another shrine literally right here. So... We're really close to the castle. That area there just looks like no go for now. Like, I just don't want to. It just doesn't look friendly. It doesn't look inviting at all. And of course, there is the castle with Calamity Ganon going around it. So this is going to be probably about as close to, to this area as I'm going to, to make uh, my way this way. Um... Oh, but yeah, but seeing as there is a shrine right there and uh, I saw it, I might as well go after it. But first, it looks like I need to try and take out this guy if I can. Oh, there we go. Oh, I, I don't think I took him out, but I, I kind of spread him into to lots of different parts. So let's take his head. <laughs> and let's. Oh, no, I dropped it. I dropped his head. Come back here. Oh, no. He's going for his head again. Oh, his body's all annoyed because I got his head. I'm going to go and I'm going to throw it into the, the water. Oh, I kicked it in. I kicked it into the, the water. What's his body going to do now? It's just going to collapse. Just going to give up. Right. I haven't got my head. Just forget it. <laughs> That was awesome and all. What's that? Oh, there's a bunch of horses over there. They look like they might be um uh, good horses as well. I don't know why I haven't been um calling Patch as much. I probably should use uh, Patch a little bit more than I am. Anyway, this method seemed to work so effectively last time. Boop, into the water. <laughs> Let's whistle. Let's see if Patch actually shows up. Because every time... Yeah, every time I call Patch, Patch can't hear me. Why... Why can Patch never hear me? Is it like because it's not very loyal? Or am I just too far away? And oh no... I think that might be a guardian over there. I do not want to get anywhere close to that garden. Let's let's just keep on moving. Keep on moving. I do do I still have my guardian shield or did that thing break by now? I lose track. Uh yeah, I do still have my guardian shield. So that apparently can reflect the um the the beams that it fires. So that will give me a, a little bit more of a chance against it, but they pretty much take you out in a, in one hit otherwise. So yeah, getting getting it any closer might not be the the smartest thing for for me uh, in my current condition. Right. So see if I can get one of these horses. I like I like because Patch just never shows up, but I want to have a horse because it makes it so much quicker for me to to get around. So let's see if we can um let's see if we can if we can get any of these horses. So the single color horses 
are apparently much harder to, to tame. Apparently they run away a lot. Uh, they're difficult to sneak up for. But let's get this kind of blue horse. It's quite interesting seeing a blue horse. Hopefully it doesn't charge straight to where the guardian is. And oh, no, 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 don't. See what I mean? I should, I should, I need to use um stealth, don't I? I need to, to use some of the, the, the stealth elixirs or, or food. I think that's going to be the the method to, to sneak up on them in the, the future. So yeah, if I find some more, I might go and do that. And oh, there's a thing. Oh, is that, is that a, I think that might be another stable. Ah, I think there might be another stable here. Okay, that does make sense to, to have the, the stable right next to, to where the, the horses are. Uh, because once you, um, uh, you're able to, to tame a horse, you kind of need to, to bring it to them to, to register it. Then again, that's what I did to Patch. And every time I call Patch, Patch doesn't show up. So I don't know, maybe, maybe just Patch doesn't like me very much. And oh, oh, this is where this guy is. This is the Korok guy. He said he was going to, to somewhere else. Oh, hello, Hestu. Shalaka! We meet again! I want to go home to Korok Forest, but I lost my way! According to the folks at the stable, this area is Lanaru region! Sha Shaka! That means Korok Forest is still north of here! But since I'm already here, I may as well stay a while and relax! Oh, wait a minute! I detect a scent of Korok seeds! You've received a Korok seed from the forest children, haven't you? If you give me Korok seeds, I'll give you one of the stashes bigger. Which will it be? Uh, weapon, bow, or shield? Uh, let's go for... I'm gonna go for weapon again. Okay, I'll just need three Korok seeds. Oh, that's exactly what I have. How convenient. <laughs> so, does he need more every time? I think he might need four next time then. Let the expansion begin! <laughs> like, the reason I keep doing weapons and not shield and bows is because weapons is where you keep, like, axes and torches and all of the other, like, useful items as well. So I think it makes sense to keep expanding that. And then later on, I'll expand some of the other stuff. Expand, abound, abound! Weapon stars! Shakala! Shakala! Come back again! Oh, me possibly my favorite character in the game. I, I think almost definitely my favorite character in the game is, <laughs> is that better. Anyway, so we found another stable. Um, let's let's go and do this uh, this shrine first, though, because that's kind of the, the main thing that, that I'm trying to, to do at the, the moment. So this is the, uh, the Keiya Wan shrine. So let's go and uh, make our way side of here and uh, yeah let's see uh, what puzzles are going to be facing us and uh, let's see whether whether i decide to, to solve them my own way or doing what the, the game wants me to do it's kind of fun just when you can see that there's obviously something that the game wants you to do but you can just come up with a smarter way to do it just to make it easier for yourself there is something really satisfying about that like it's good solving puzzles anyway but it's even better when you do it your own way and ah Shields from water. Oh, I don't like the sound. Let me let me go and do a little save now. I reckon something's going to be shooting me, and I'm going to be <laughs> using water to to protect myself. So right then, uh, let's go and uh, build this up a little bit like this. And uh, you can do uh, you can do the the ice coming out from the um, the the waterfall as well. So I guess if I do this one coming out like that. And then, is this enough for me to jump up? No, I think I need to do one slightly higher just to the, the side there. And this should be... Oh, what am I on? What's going on? I'm in, like, third per uh, first person there. There we go. <laughs> now I can go climb up. And oh, right. Well, that guy's going to shoot me. Shields from water. I mean, there's no... There's no water for me to, to make an ice shield, is there? And how can I even get up there? I can't... I can't just... Just, I'm like, I'm so close, but I just can't make up the, I can't reach the bike up. But, uh, um, okay, right, let's, uh, I mean, I could try and do one slightly higher up. Oh, could I, could I, could I, I think I can bring them out of the ground, can I? Like, it looked like I could make the, the, the ice up here. Okay, I can. Oh, I think, do I need to do it just right in front of it? I think I might just need to do it like that. Okay. See, I thought I was going to need to make my way across here. And aha, it doesn't break the, the ice either, e either. So that's good to, to know. Let's see if we can go and grab that thing. Oh, i got to be careful. I actually, I don't know if that is a, um, if that is a, a metal chester or not. I think it might not be. Let's kind of go a little bit closer and block this off here. Then let's see if I can grab it. I think that's not a metal one. No, I can't grab that. So I'm going to have to kind of do what I did uh, in the, the last shrine and lift it up like this. And now I need to, to get up there to, to, to get it. So let's go to, to here. And then let's go and put ice right about there. 
and then go to here. And hopefully that's going to be enough to, to block it off. Is that blocked? I, th I think I have blocked it off nicely there. Like, time's frozen. Okay. This is why I got an ancient core. This crystal was made using the lost technology. At one time, it was the power source for ancient machines. This is a very valuable uh, resource. Uh, oh, valuable to researchers, sorry. There we go. I was able to, to block it off nicely there. So, right then, I need to now... Let's just uh, move. Oh, no. Didn't mean to go in the water. So let's just kind of move around on the top and just keep putting one right in front of it to, to block it off that way. So I think if I go to, to there, the ice I already put down should still be enough to block. Actually, let's just put one a little bit further along there just to, just for safety, <laughs> just for obvious reasons. And now I can do another one down here. And if I, if I, hold up, steady on, steady on. So if I just time this right and jump just after it fires, like now, I might just be able to go and run, 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 right. Are we done with that one? Or is that one going to, okay, I think this one's going to carry on shooting me from behind. So let's go and put another one down. No, here, here, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Ooh, I think it just missed me anyway there. Right, hopefully that's that one done. And ah. Okay, we're kind of do a comp doing a combination between this shrine and the last shrine. I guess I need to, to jump on the raft. And then block the ice just as we we move our way along. Right. I'm going to have to react really quickly here. So let's go and do this one here. Oh, no. I'm going to... The raft's going to hit this, though. Ah, okay. Kind of worked. Kind of worked. Let's try and block that one. Oh, okay. I need this, like, here. But then this one's going to fire me. So I need that one there. No, it hit me. Okay. I was able to just about block it off. So that one needs to, to get destroyed. So let's shatter this one. And then I need to put another one a little bit closer to it here. So there's there's me safe from, from this one. <laughs> but now I need to make my way a little bit closer forward here. So let's kind of do this a bit closer. There. Oh, no, no, no. No, that wasn't the plan. Ah, let's just go. Let's just go. Oh, no, no. I, I dived in. I didn't... <laughs> I dived in the... I didn't mean to... All I went... I went to just jump off and glide down. But it made me just dive in the, the water. Right. I believe I could do that Do that better, though. So let's try and put this one... Uh, oh, no. I put it in the wrong place. I was trying to put it closer forward so I wouldn't knock my, my raft out the way. But hey, this is... This is still kind of working. So let's go and put that down there. That's this one destroyed, though. So I'm going to... Oh, no. I'm going to get hit. I'm going to get hit. Let's just try and dodge it. Let's just see if I can just jump and glide. There we go. Oh, no. When I go and touch the water, I just go straight down. Okay. I'm going down. <laughs> this is probably good, though, because I think it's better just to start from the beginning. Because I made such a massive mess of it. Like, I, I want to try and make sure I don't put any, like, right in front of my, my raft to make it go out of the, the way. And whoa, it's firing at me from all the way over there. Right, let's let's block that one off first then because that one's going after me. And oh, that's kind of messed things up a little bit. And oh no, I'm too close. I'm too close. Okay, let's just try and dodge it. And then let's go and glide across. Okay, that wasn't as good as it could have been. I got shot a whole bunch. But you know what? I made it here at the end of the day, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying about when I enter the shrine? Like, don't you feel smart when you solve a puzzle in a way you weren't supposed to? Like, that way I just was the opposite. I just, <laughs> I still what the game needed me to do, but I was just too rubbish and just kept messing it up. But there we go. I put all of my hearts back up. Anyway, I got the spirit orb. I got the treasure. So no one need know of how rubbish I was. <laughs> Sometimes I think I just shouldn't record these. It's just a, a record of my failures that I can share with everyone on the, the internet that wants to, to, wants to watch, watch my failures. Anyway, enough about failures. Good things have happened. I have four spirit orbs, which means I can go and I can go and uh, get my, my stamina increase. Uh, so let's go and do that now. So uh, I think the best place to go is to um, Kakariko Village. Well, let's, let's not go to Kakariko Village. Oh no! Oh no! It's thunder and lightning. Oh dear. Right, let's get out of here as soon as we can. Well, let's go. I, I'm pretty sure it's Zora's domain. I'm pretty sure that there was one of the um the, the things that I can pray to there. So let's just go and make our way over there because I think there might be a bunch of side quests and things at Zora's domain that I've just not done yet. Like, I did the, the whole Varuta thing. I just love saying Varuta. Uh, but then I kind of just left. I didn't I didn't speak to any of the other Zoras. I was kind of in and straight out. So I think there's probably a bunch of other things around this area I need to, to do anyway. So uh, let's just go and teleport here and we can see if there are if there are anyone with the, the markers. Basically, if they've got a red exclamation mark above their head, it means they're going to give you a side quest. So we can see if there's any obvious ones that are around there that do have a, a side quest. But still, I think I should probably go around and uh, and speak to people uh, a little bit more anyway. But all right then, first things first though, let's go and increase my stamina. And oh, and it's sunny here as well. <laughs> it was a thunderstorm over where we were, but it's nice and, uh, and sunny here. Everything is fine here. <laughs> and aha, that's what I was talking about. So this person uh, needs help with something. So that's someone to, to speak to in the future. But I'm sure wasn't there... Oh, maybe there's not something that I can pray to here. I'm sure... Oh, where was it? 
I'm sure I'm sure I saw one. I'm sure on the way in here, I saw one, unless it's down the front there. Hmm. I can't really see one over there. I'm sure there's one of the- Ah! <laughs> okay, lucky there, there is a ladder down here. No, I never looked under here before. Oh, look, there's a hidden chest. There we go. I found a hidden chest. See? Every cloud literally does have a silver lining. I fell down here, but I was able to, to get the chest anyway. And am I wearing the- Am I wearing the Zora's armor that lets me swim better? I am, but it, it says to speed up my swim, but it doesn't seem to do a big difference. I know I'm kind of against the, the stream here, but still, still pretty slow. Then again, better than I could swim in real life. I'm rubbish at swimming in real life. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go and, uh, and grab this uh, this chest then and uh, see what our reward is uh, is going to, to be. We have, oh, a silver rupee. So that's a thousand. I'm getting so much. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. I've got over a thousand rupees. I know you might be playing the game and you might have, I don't know, 5,000 rupees and you're laughing at my tiny little uh, bag of, uh, of rupees. But for me, that is the most money I've had so far in the, the games. So that's very exciting. So yeah, let's just go here. I'm sure there was one around there somewhere, but I didn't want to, uh, to, to wander around. And you can kind of just quick travel around the place really fast. Anyway, so let's just go here. And I just want to see the stamina increase. I just want to have it. And I just want to, to run around without getting tired so quickly for just a little bit. I just want to see how big of an increase it is, just so I know for, for future upgrades, whether it is actually worth upgrading the, the stamina, or I should keep putting all of the, the resources into the, the hearts. Because at the moment, I am leaning towards the hearts, just because of how how many times I get taken out while playing through the, the game. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go down here with our paraglide and then the, the the little shrine not shrine what is this thing called the little the the, the, the woman statue that you uh, you pray to let's uh, go down here and uh, yeah let's go and get ourselves my stamina increase so uh, we have our, our choice we have the the spore er, er, um the the four spirit orb so let's go get the the, the stamina vessel uh, yes I am sure I shall grant you the power that you seek so that's all of our spirit orbs gone but there we go here is our stamina vessel. So I wonder if this is just going to make it so it goes down slower or make the, the circle bigger or just kind of add a bit to, to it. Okay, it just adds a bit to it. Okay, so I guess you could kind of fill in the, the entire outside of that circle again. It doesn't seem like a huge increase. So that, that's basically the difference. That's kind of as far as I can run before it starts using the, the real wheels. So definitely useful, but you, you I guess you do want to, to use a few of them before it really makes any any big difference. It's kind of just like a little bit of, a, of extra safety rumor, I guess. But anyway, a very successful video. So in the next episode, I'm going to go and... Uh, oh, my little, my little... Let's get rid of that ping. So I'm going to get really confused because I'm going to forget about it. So yeah, next time I'm going to go and head down this area here and see if I can find where the the tower is uh, to, to fill in that region there because uh, that seems to, to be uh, where the where Hatino village might be and I can kind of just see uh, once the map's filled in I can know exactly where it is so yeah that's what the, the plan is hopefully you enjoyed this episode the next episode will be online very soon so you can go and check that out but for now thanks for watching and I will see you all later bye